Welcome drink. Pretty nice. Mm. Okay. We're gonna be facing the back though. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you go now to the 25th floor. Wow, what a view. That's a good view. You can see the pool area down there. It's pretty nice. For sure. Like I told you, the main colors that you're gonna find are the red, orange, and uh, yellow as well. And you're gonna visit two royal suites. Now you're gonna see the royal suite as it used to be since they made it in uh, 22 years ago. And after that, you will visit the other royal suite, which is called the Experience Suite. Wonderful. Let's knock on the door to see what happens if they open. Hello, and welcome to the royal suite, the jewel in the crown of the Versada. Please come in. Have Please come in. You. Hmm? Thank you, Mr. Best Tour Guide in the entire hotel, Mr. Fakir. He's brilliant. Wow. My name is Fakir, and I'm going to be a personal butler throughout this journey. And it's my job to make you all feel like superstars. Look at anything you want or need. Wow. wow, right? <laughs> well, I first led the golden marble staircase, and if you actually look up, you can see gold on the ceilings, even the walls, and he has everything on private elevator. All the here, you can take as many pictures and videos as you like. The only thing I'm going to ask you is to keep up with me in one room as we have a lot to discover. So, are you ready? Sure. One. I'm going to show you the living room first. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dario Tu. Please keep up with the tour guide. And, and just, you know, sometimes you can here. put the focus in. So, here you have the living room. And inside here you have the TV room. And inside the TV room, you actually have a... <laughs> So what's the size of the suite? 780 mm -hmm. square meters. Mm -hmm. And that's two levels. And two levels. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what is the uh, story behind the seven tower? Maybe you can share it with us. Right, so I'll be very honest with you. The seven star rating doesn't exist. Okay. An English journalist came to stay in the hotel for a few nights. And he said that it's a seven star hotel. Okay. And then uh, after that, they just clicked. This is the seven star hotel. Word of mouth. It's on the fifth one and the other world suite, part of the Inside Borgata project. So now it's 100 nights. Mm -hmm. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take you upstairs. And I'm gonna you have a whole view of Dubai. Mm -hmm. It's a gold TV. Wow. Yeah. Precisely. 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 Precisely.
Uh, so, so, sir, um, how much is this one per night? $25,000. $25,000. U.S., right? Yeah. It is pretty nice. <coughs> Can't lie. If you have the money, it's worth it. Yeah, gotcha. Wow. Carpet in the washroom, eh? Oh. I don't know about carpet in the washroom. It's pretty insane. <sighs> it's definitely pretty insane. Thank you. Honestly, if someone went first would be like twenty five thousand dollars is is insane, but for someone that has the money to spend, um, that doesn't know what, what to do with it. To them, that this might be worth it because it is exceptional, the way it's been built. Um, <clears throat> wow! <clears throat> Look at the detail on this place. No, it makes sense why people <coughs> it makes sense why people call it seven star because honestly it's yes yeah, so you have your own cleansing of the washroom so you can control the toilet you can control the power of it it's pretty neat you got your phone there your sink and look at the shower jeez this is wild. <clears throat> yeah, this is wild. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like, you know, like an office. Thank you, sir. To your right. Thank you. thousand square meters of the brief basically asked us to design something that's never been ever designed before and that um, will never be designed ever again. Why are you people? In the Volvo towns So this room is kind of like an architect studio. Right? It gives all the details uh, on the renderings of the Burj. What what was the vision for the Burj from the architects, the designers, um, the builders? So I think this room was made more for um, the tour itself to give people an idea of all the details. Um, here's another detail here. The longest diagonal truss is 85 meters long and weighs 165 tons. And then it shows the architects here, some of the builders. Very cool. One thing you have to admire about the Emiratis is their uh, their ambitiousness. The bigger your vision, the longer this achievement will be. Wow. Unreal. So you can see that's all Jumeirah Beach over there, the Jumeirah Hotel. Um, there's the bridge that brings you into the bridge. So there's the bridge that brings you into the bridge. And very faintly you can see downtown Dubai and the Burj Khalifa. Uh, it's just straight ahead. I'm not sure if the camera will capture it, but because it's very hazy with the heat, uh, you, can, you can make out some of the skyline. Oh, and then over there you can also see Wild Wadi which is the water park and over there you can see a little bit of uh, Medina Jumeirah which is the modern souk that they've created. I got the wine menu here. I was basically living and sleeping in, in, in Burj Al Arab. Pretty cool. Um, rushing from area to area. Let's see how expensive it is. Oh, what was that? No other project will, and will never be designed ever again. I wanted people when they come in to immediately get this wow effect. Let's go. Okay, the food options at the Burj. Looks good. Yeah, it's a 
Yeah, Botox. High maintenance fish here. Look at those lips. Yeah. <laughs> Masks. Do so you know what they did? This whole room, they turned into a museum. Otherwise, it's the same size. Pretty cool. Okay. I love this quote and this one. Okay, they have refreshments too. How are you, sir? Oh, amazing, thank you. Is it a tea? Arabic coffee. Arabic coffee? Just what I'd love to. Oh, thank you. oh my god, so good. Great. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Eight as well. They say the sky is the limit for ambition. We say the sky is only the beginning. This is us leaving the uh, the bridge. It's at the old market. Okay. Don't worry, I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to steal the recipe. <laughs> Everything here is out of gold, even the coffee. You, you cannot compare it. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, and even the lights are here as well. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, it was worth it? Yeah. Oh, the pictures. Oh yes, they did. One second, I'll I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> okay, so you do have access to the patio on the bridge tour. That's what I like. This is what I wanted to see. Very cool. Awesome. Look at the view. We got the bar here as well. This is sweet. We have access to it all. And the sunset. Wow. Yeah, honestly, guys, I was a bit skeptical at first in regards to how gimmicky the attraction was. 
but uh, I think it was worth it. Honestly, you get to see the Burj in a lot of its entirety without having to spend the night here. If you can do both, I would do afternoon tea at Sahanadar because you can spend time in the lobby. You can actually get photos in the lobby. The uh, tour guides are a little bit uh, strict when it comes to getting pictures of the lobby on the tour. Uh, I guess because they, the actual guests are staying there and they don't want to ruin that vibe and create a more of a touristy feel to it. You know, this is all about like prestige. The hotel is all about class. Uh, it's about privacy. So by having tourists, you know, snapping photos and videos all over the hotel, it ruins that vibe. So I understand why they, they don't encourage and they actually mention not to take photos until they get to the top floor where they mention this is now, it's now okay to take photos and videos. So with Sahanadar, if you book the afternoon tea, you can kind of get away with taking photos and videos of the lobby. You can also get the gold cappuccino that we got, uh, which was around 120 dirhams. And then when you do the tour, you actually get to see the rooms. You get to see the actual burj from the, hi uh, from the height of it. Uh, the views are amazing. And as you can see here, we actually get to go on the patio, uh, which you're not able to do when you go to the, uh, when you have the afternoon tea. You're restricted to just the lobby and just the uh, Sahanadar restaurant. Um, on the tour, uh, they kind of open it up for you. So when you're done the tour, like right now we're on the patio, uh, I can show you the view and uh, the Burj is there and they actually have a restaurant there as well so I think you can order food I think you can have drinks so it's not like after the tour you know you have to go elsewhere I think there is an option for you to have you know to get some some grub the view is amazing you can see that it's just sun setting right now and uh, yeah I do recommend it I mean it's around $80 Canadian when I did the conversion so it's gonna be a lower cost in US if you're in, if you're coming from the US or somewhere else in North America but yeah like I said they're a little bit strict on the photos and videos so if you want to really spend time in the lobby uh, be able to have the gold cappuccino uh, take in the ambience of the of the restaurant the live music uh, the crowd and then be able to see the Burj in its, it's in most of its entirety without having to spend the night here, then definitely do the tour and do the afternoon tea. And then hopefully one day when, you know, if it's something that uh, is feasible for you, definitely spend one night here. That's my goal is to spend uh, a night here as well because it is amazing. Looks like there's a restaurant here. I'm not sure if it's open. Now you can see a pretty good view of the Burj. Beautiful. Yeah, I'd be quite shocked if this is open. It doesn't look like it is. Maybe it's a restaurant though. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Maybe we'll... We'll walk the strip for a bit first. I don't want to get locked out here. Well, you know what? Let me try. We don't need to go back. <laughs> I think it's at the front though. I think they have the tour, the buggy at the front. I think yeah. any buggy we get in and we go. I think so. so. What do you think? What do you think?
the side of the bridge. There's Jamara Beach. It's pretty empty now. Most people left. Most people are gone for the day. Beautiful beach though. Look at the sunset too on the bridge. See, this is why we wanted to come for this time because look how beautiful it looks. Yeah, it's beautiful. See, those are all the lights over here that are projecting onto the bridge. So you can see it's producing that yellow glow. And then they change colors throughout the night. <laughs> 